10, which was 13-3, UC Davis A over Davis B, and game 11, which was San Jose State 19, UC Merced 6, and we're underway. Cal State Maritime in the dark caps, Cal State Chico in the white. The winner gets third place. Chico Wildcats with the ball. Formerly known as Chico State, now Cal State Chico. Chico tried to go backhand, but can't get it. Maritime possession. Maritime is coached by Bernie Rogers. Now Maritime setting. Maritime beat Stanford again two, 15 to six, but then dropped six to five. Contest against Santa Cruz in game eight. Santa Cruz is in the first place game instead of Maritime. Maritime has been in the first place game only once back in 2012, an 11-6 loss to Cal Berkeley. That one is pummeled out of play by the keeper. Could be a two meter throw for Chico. It should be Wildcat possession. So it's Maritime zero, Chico zero. Early on in the first quarter in the third place game. And that one is blocked. And it's put through. Boom, shock-a-lock on the second effort. Nicely done by Cat9 of Chico. It's Cal State Chico 1, Cal State Maritime 0. Unbelievable with the second effort. That was amazing. Nice penetration to not lose control. Listed as J. Ryan, so Ryan with the tally. 1-0 Wildcats. Now, the keel haulers down one. The possession. Puts it through, blocked by the keeper. Whistle. Okay. The keel haulers still have it. So Cal State Maritime, possession. Inside, off the right crossbar. They have chances, but aren't cashing in. It's cat 12. No Chico. It's Thompson. Chico with possession. Whistle. Opportunity there. And that one is blocked by the keeper. Shot clock reset. 4.50 to go in the first quarter. Cal State Chico up 1-0 for Cal State Maritime Academy. Chico with the possession. Puts it through. Boom! Shakalaka. It's 2-0 Wildcats. Goal by cap 17 for Chico. That's T West. No tally by West and Ryan. It's 2-0 Wildcats. Shore coach Bernie Rogers is getting not just worried, but a bit frustrated about the start for his team. Is that off the bar again, that's about two to three shots that hit the crossbar already. And that's the difference so far. That's cap five for Cal State Chico. Draga flipped in the two meter area. Goes to the side. Goes in. And the ball goes to the kill haulers. Down two. So Cal State Chico and White. Two, Cal State Maritime and the Dark Caps, zero. This is the first quarter of the third place game in the Sierra Pacific Division Championship. Three more games on tap for this October 23rd here in Santa Cruz, California. The whistle. Gotta be worried the shot clock. 
Puts it there off the left hand of the keeper. Should be a two meter throw for the keel haulers. Down two. New shot clock. Got about a little under three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Cal State Chico in the past five years had been runner up to Cal Berkeley twice and UC Santa Cruz once for the championship in this tournament. No one's put through left possession, Cal State Chico. So Cal State Chico was last in the Sierra Pacific championship game back in 2014. It was 13-12 Cal. That one's pushed in. Boom, shakalaka. It's 3-0. 17 does it again. Second for West. And Bernie Rogers is definitely worried about the team. The team has not come out strong as expected, which is probably why it lost to Santa Cruz 6-5 to five on October 22nd. So again, this is the third place game. Our next game up is scheduled to be the first place game at 12.30 p.m. Pacific between host UC Santa Cruz and top seeded and four time defending champion Cal Berkeley Golden Bears. Rister is deflected by the keeper. And this looks to be a Cal State Chico Wildcat possession. This is a stunner right now. Finds the way, puts it to the right side. Boom, Shakalaka. It's 4 0, Cal State Chico. Cat 2. Davidson. Four zero. Unbelievable. Again, Cal State Maritime entered as the two seed. Chico the four seed. A surprising start for each team. Chico with four quick goals and Maritime not on the board. Maritime look to compete for the championship. Now it will still be an interesting championship game between Cal Berkeley and Santa Cruz. And that one is saved. 2013, 14, and 15 have all been one goal games in the Sierra Pacific Championship game. Last year, 2015 Cal beat UC Davis A 9 to 8 in sudden death overtime. Now the wrister is again off the crossbar on the right side. Maybe the fourth who have gone off the bar. A lot of missed chances, but the kill haulers get it back. And that is saved by the Chico goalie. And it's 4-0. Cal State Chico. Under a minute to play in the first quarter. Wildcats in control, up four. Not what we expected. And that one goes in. <laughs> That's amazing. 5-0, boom shakalaka. Another one for Cat 2. Who was Cat 2 of Chico? Davidson. 5 0. Cal State Chico Wildcats in the white over Cal State Maritime Keel Holders. In the dark. Many people fought Santa Cruz. Even San Jose State be in this game. And that one is fired, saved by the keeper for Cal State Chico. In the third place game. Now swimming ahead, looks like Cap 7 
Chanel. Whistle. Opportunity time. Puts it through and saved by the Maritime Keeper. And, uh, just a few seconds away from the end of the first quarter. And after one quarter, folks, it's Cal State Chico, five. Cal State Maritime. Hard to believe it's 5-0. Cal State Chico over Maritime. Running in. Anything can happen in the postseason. I'm Scott Samuel, David Weiss. Second quarter catching is coming up on the CWPA Network. Hi, I'm Wolf Ligo. And I'd like to introduce the one kilogram heavy training ball. Think of this ball as a weight belt for your arms. This is really gonna strengthen your wrist, okay, your forearms, your shoulder, and uh, really make you a lot stronger in your shooting. You can use this ball on dry land against a wall, or in your passing drills, or against a rebounder. Keep the ball up in front, and really focus on your shoulder, your wrist, and your forearm in your passing. Maybe pass for five or 10 minutes with the ball, and then go back to a regular water polo ball and you real, really feel the difference in the power that you're producing out of all those muscle groups. You're watching the CWPA broadcast brought to you by CAP7. This is the Sierra Pacific Championship Tournament third place game hosted by UC Santa Cruz. Once again, I'm Scott Samaliba Weiss. We're heading into the second quarter of the third place game as it's Cal State Chico and the White Caps. Five, Cal State Maritime and the Dark Caps zero. An unbelievable turn of revenge in the first quarter when these two teams face each other in a regular season. Maritime won 11 to 10 on October 2nd. It's 5-0 already in favor of the Wildcats. And I'm not sure many people had seen this coming. With Cal State Chico going to a five goal lead. But we're glad you're here and tuning in as we are heading into the second quarter. Seven more minutes on the clock in the first half. Reminder we have three more games on tap on this October 23rd after this one. 12 30 p.m. Pacific. Cal Berkeley versus Santa Cruz. 140 Pacific, Davis A versus Stanford, and 250 Pacific. It would be San Jose State versus UC Davis B. And the second quarter is underway. The possession for the Kiel Haulers. Still looking for a goal. Puts that one through, now to play. Still no score for Cal State Maritime. Chico with the five goal lead in the White Caps with it. Wildcats up five with possession. 15 on the shot clock, 6.20 to go in the first half. with the Wildcats. Shot clock violation will go to Cal State Maritime Academy. This is Sierra Pacific Division action on the Collegiate Water Polo Association Network. More information, visit us online at www.collegiatewaterpolo.org. Puts it through. Off to the goalkeeper's right side. Or left, and it's still no goal for Cal State Maritime. A long hole by the keeper, that nearly went in. It's that type of game. It's an unexpected one. And I think that's gonna be a two meter throw for the Cal State Chico Wildcats. And it is, and the Wildcat. In white with the possession, Maritime in the dark caps. 
is the third place game, second quarter. A lot of screaming in the background, so exciting action on campus at UC Santa Cruz. Six on the shot clock. 5-0-9 remaining in the first half. Put through off the piping. Second effort. Boom, shock lock -a. Goal by Cat Bertine of Chico. Edley. And it's now Cal State. Chico, six. Cal State Maritime, zero. This is a team that is used to scoring at least 11 a game, Maritime. This is the only time Maritime has lost when it didn't score double digits. And that one is saved. Lost 12-7 against Cal on October 1st. Then lost 6-5 to, to Santa Cruz on October 22nd. It's already 6-0. Possession, Chico. And that will be given to the keeper for Maritime. Both of these schools believed to be public in universities. And there's a whistle. Now an opportunity shot for Maritime. Looks like Lubin Salcedo puts it through with his block. Salcedo is denied. Still scoreless is Maritime in the dark caps. Cal State Chico still up 6-0 in the second quarter of the third place game, Sierra Pacific Division Tournament. Thought about it, but didn't take it. There's a whistle. He takes a shot, bounces in, boom, shakalaka, 7-0, Cal State. Chico, that looks like Cat 21. But the tail. It's Carroll. With the score. That's a lot of goals already for Chico. Seven zero, Cal State Chico Wildcats over Cal State Maritime Academy Keel Haulers. Keel Haulers with the possession down seven that is deflected out of play. There was one stretch in the season in which Chico State, Cal State Chico lost three in a row. Two of them were by two or fewer goals. One was an 18-10 loss to San Jose State. Puts it through, boom shakalaka, the route is on for Chico. Good for Cat 4-8-0. Wildcats. There's a laser beam. For Falkender. Falkender gets the goal. Maritime coach Bernie Rogers totally did not expect this. But when you have a letdown losing in the win and in the first place game to Santa Cruz, the sixth seed, letdowns can happen like this. Possession, Cal State Maritime, kill haulers looking for a score. 20 in the shot clock. Two and a half to go. Puts it through off the bar again. It's at least five that have been off the crossbars for the kill haulers. Now here come the Wildcats. The 
holding the possession. In the White Caps. Cal State Maritime in the Dark Caps. Cal State Chico in the White. It's the third place game in the Sierra Pacific Division. And it's taken away by the Keel Haulers. Still a valid goal. But to allow eight goals in the first half. Allowed just seven in an 11 7 win against UC Davis A on October 1st. Allowed four against Merced in the 12 4 win on October 15th. And there we go. Boom shako laka. And they're going comeback time as Aldrich Terrell scores the first goal of the contest for the Keel Haulers. It's now 8 to 1, Chico. Have some very optimistic spectators on the sideline. So 8 1, Cal State Chico. Coming up during halftime, we'll give you a tip of the week. Sponsored by Cap 7. And the keeper from Maritime has it. It was 5-0, Cal State Chico entering the second quarter. Wildcats have outscored Maritime 3-1 in the second period. And off the arm of a Wildcat, possession, Cal State Chico's. Possession here. So 8-1, Cal State Chico. Puts it through, boom, shakalaka. Nine to one. Cat four. For second in this quarter. Nine to one, Cal State Chico. It's another one for Fall Kender. Goalkeeper there is looking just stunned. About under 50 seconds to go in the first half. Which is the third place game. Three more on the day afterward. This is still the first half. And now Cal State Chico with the ball. Maybe looking for a tenth in the first half. Or we'll just be content in holding it. The Wildcats with the ball up eight. Totally unexpected first half performance for both tees. Cal State Chico with an outburst. And Maritime with a deficiency is that's out of play. Off a pillar. And folks, that is the end of the first half. After one half, Cal State Chico, nine. Cal State Maritime Academy, one. And that is a very big surprise. But we have 14 more minutes of regulation in the book. And... Quarter three is coming up on the CWPA Network. We now give you tip of the week. Welcome to this edition of Chalk Talk. Hi, I'm Wolf Wyo. Here we are in the, the six on five, working on the offense, and we have two real systems that you can go with. You can go with a four two, Okay, which is where we have four players on the two meter line or close to the two meter line and then we have our two players up top on each post five or six meters out and from here you know you're working on a number of different things passing the ball around looking to hit the posts when they're popping taking the ball in going inside and not really sliding out the other system we have is a three three okay and that's where you have three players on the two meter line and you've got three players sort of in a triangle up top. When you're running the 3-3 on offense, it'll typically be two players either gapped or they'll be back here. And the ball is mostly staying on the three players up top. Sometimes you'll run a 3-3 a if you've got three really strong shooters and maybe a couple weaker players that aren't going to touch the ball too much on the bottom line. Um, or you want to just 
control the offense. A lot of times teams will run a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, if another team they're playing has some plays on the five-man that they like to go to, maybe they like to rush, uh, and your team isn't really prepared for that or has trouble against that, and this way you can sort of control things, okay? Hi, I'm Wolf Ligo, and I'd like to introduce the one kilogram heavy training ball. Think of this ball as a weight belt for your arms. This is really gonna strengthen your wrist, okay, your forearms, your shoulder, and uh, really make you a lot stronger in your shooting. You can use this ball on dry land against a wall, or in your passing drills, or against a rebounder. Keep the ball up in front, and really focus on your shoulder, your wrist, and your forearm in your passing. Maybe pass for five or 10 minutes with the ball, and then go back to a regular water polo ball, and you real, really feel the difference in the power that you're producing out of all those muscle groups. You're watching the CWPA broadcast, brought to you by Cap7. Once again, this is Sierra Pacific, the Vision Championship action, third place game. I'm Scott Samuel David Weiss. We head to the third quarter. It's Cal State Chico 9, Cal State Maritime 1. We're underway in the third period. In the second quarter, Cal State Chico outscored Maritime 4-1. Maritime in the dark caps, Chico in the white, puts that through, it is reflected to the side. And another effort. Puts that one through, out of play. Again, this is a very surprising scene with Cal State Chico leading by eight because Maritime had lost just once in the regular season. That was 12 to seven, the opening match. Okay, we first to Cal Berkeley. And that's a withered behind the back boom shackle lock. Uh, Cat 13 scores for Chico. It's now 10 1 Wildcats. 13 being Edley. And that's the second in the right calculations for Edley in the game. This is the third place game. <laughs> Already the same amount of goals Chico had against Maritime when the kill haulers won 11 to 10 back on October 2nd. Unless Maritime is going to go on a 10 0 run, third place could be Cal State Chico's up for grabs. Goes out of play possession. Cal State Chico, the Wildcats will fit in the white caps. That one short. Went in the water. Looks like maritime possession. Through stoppage. Advanced ahead. Here comes Cal State Maritime. 18 in the shot clock, 522 to go in the third quarter. Third place at stake. No one goes through. Boom shot clock right through the arms. It's 10 2 now. So 10-2, each team with a goal apiece in this third quarter. And it's turned away. Kill haulers get it. And the match to kill hauler keeper. Cal State Chico 10, Cal State Maritime 2. I'm Scott Samuel David Weiss. This is action from Santa Cruz, California. Off the crossbar again. That's been the rival and enemy today. The crossbar, not just the goalkeeper for Maritime Academy. 
No whistle. Which is surprising. Looks like there may have been a hold. And it may advance forward, but it's taken back by the Wildcats. Up eight. There's also a tennis court behind us. That one goes through, but on a believable count. It's 10 to 2. Possession, Cal State Chico. Got to be wary of the shot clock. 25. Puts it through. Boom, shot clock. That was very fast. Could almost miss it. And it's now Cal State Chico 11, Cal State Maritime 2. And goal advantage again for the Wildcats. Bernie Rogers may want to come up with a different plan because he's probably banging his head right now on the Maritime sidelines. Thinking, how can you let this happen? The possession kill haulers down nine. We're in the third quarter of the third place game. It's October 23rd, 2016. That'll be decisive. Puts it wide right. Inaccuracies will also cost you some points. Possession Cal State Chico. As a reminder, next game scheduled for 12.30 p.m. PT between Cal Berkeley and UC Santa Cruz. That's for first place Sierra Pacific tournament. And could be a berth for the national championship stages at Notre Dame November 11th through 13. Cal Berkeley has won the postseason tournament in this division the last four years. This is the sixth year of the Sierra Pacific division. That is saved by the keeper. For Maritime. 2011, Cal wasn't in it. It was Santa Cruz 7, Chico 6. Again, Chico hasn't been in the first place game in two years. As that is saved by the Chico keeper. Three of the last five years, Chico have been the first place game. But the second straight year, it will not go for gold. Opportunity knocking for more tallies for the Wildcats. Cal State Chico 11 in white. Cal State Maritime in the dark caps too. Santa Cruz, California. And there are probably a few people here disappointed the Los Angeles Dodgers were eliminated by the Chicago Cubs in the National League Championship Series. The Cubs moved to the World Series for the first time since, two, since 1945. Boom shakalaka. Looks like Cat 9 for Maritime. And it was, it's Spencer Smith. Now 11 to 3, Cal State Chico. So, some life, two goals apiece for each team in this third quarter. Still a lot of work for Maritime down eight. Puts that one in his block. And Maritime will get it. Now an opportunity inside for the keel haulers. There's a whistle. Looks like it's exclusion time. Player up for Maritime Academy. And horn sounds. Possession. Cal State Chico Wildcats. And Chico was the fourth seed. 
Maritime the second after the regular season. Maritime again was seven and one the regular season. Chico five and three. You see Santa Cruz, the sixth seed, which is going for first place against Cal, was three and five. Puts that one through. Boom, shakalaka. Well, the free. Cappy, it looks like. Sealy. And it's now Cal State Chico in the white catch 12. Cal State Maritime time in the dark three. If that is good. That is it for the third quarter. We head to the fourth quarter. Cal State Chico 12. Cal State Maritime 3. I'm Scott Samuel David Weiss. Pivotal fourth quarter is coming up on the CWPA Network. So stick around. The 2016 CWPA Men's National Collegiate Club Championship is heading to the University of Notre Dame. 16 teams will battle during the three-day tournament, which will take place on November 11th, 12th, and 13th. All action will take place on Notre Dame's campus at the Rolf Aquatic Center. Live streaming will be offered on the CWPA network, and DVDs will be available for purchase. For more information regarding the National Collegiate Club Championship, please visit www.collegiatewaterpolo.org. We'll see you there. Hi, I'm Wolf Wagner with Cap 7. There's one more quarter to go in this game. Fourth quarter coming up now. Thank you very much, Wolf. We head to the fourth quarter of the third place game between Cal State Chico and Maritime. It's Cal State Chico in the white caps. 12, Cal State Maritime in the dark. Three, nine goal difference in the third quarter. Chico outscored Maritime three to two. It was 9-1 Wildcats at the half. So, fourth quarter in the third place game underway. Maritime again, 7-1 in the regular season. I believe now 8-2. and two. With a disappointing finish. But, but now, boom, shakalaka. A goal for Maritime. It's now 12-4. Favor of Chico. So eight goal difference. Wildcats still ahead by eight. That's a lengthy fire. Out of play, possession, Maritime Academy. Looking for a long haul. We'll go close to five meters. 22 in the shot clock, 625 remaining regulation. Whistle, we'll go the other way. Cal State Chico possession. Almost noon in the Pacific. And that one goes out of play. It's lunchtime for a lot of people. And Maritime just hungry for goals. That goes through. Boom, shakalaka. The empty netter. Two straight. It's now 12 to 5. Cat 2. Zach Franci. Two zero scoring run. 
to open the fourth quarter. You still need to get seven more unanswered if you're maritime. Now possession Wildcats up seven. And still with Cal State Chico. Cal State Chico in white. Cal State Maritime in dark. Puts that one blocked. Keeper possession for Maritime. It's time, baby. It's time, Maritime. Let's go. Let's go. And it's turned over. Cal State Chico with it. Uh, the fans are displeased and loses control there. Gets it back. Crowd seems to be growing here. Anticipating the first place game. That one goes through the left side. Boom, shakalaka. Cap six scores. Make that 13 to five. Cap six for Chico being McCarthy. McCarthy gets on the board. Again, an equal differential. Cal State Chico, fourth place in the regular season, looking to finish in third. San Jose State was third in the regular season, but is unfortunately going for seventh after two disappointing losses. Surprising losses, actually, the Spartans. Now back to this one. Wildcats up eight. Kill haulers with possession down by eight. out of play. The Aaron shot will result in the Cal State Chico possession. You see the goalkeeper for the Wildcats. 418 remaining in regulation. Lobs it off the piping. Whistle. Possession. Cal State Maritime to the other keeper. Long haul. Intercepted. Showing their arms. Sometimes coaches don't want you to be showing off your skills. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Your maritime, any type of shot should work if it goes in. Possession Cal State Chico. Wildcats still up 13 to five in the fourth quarter. Once again, this is Scott S.D. Weiss for the CWPA Network. Fires out of play. Oh, not out of play in the arms of the keeper. He deceived us. But now it's an opportunity. It goes in. Boom, shot lock over two defenders. It's cat five. It's now 13 to six. Cat five being Cameron Al and Lawan. Lawan gets on the board. And 13 to 6. A lot of excited fans. And now, we see the keeper there. Seven goal difference. As the ball has been advanced. Backhander is saved by the Maritime keeper, the kill haulers. Still thinking there's life. There isn't much left. Was 12 to 3. Now State Chico into the fourth quarter. It was 9 to 1. Wildcats at the half. Started 5 0 after 1. Boom, shakalaka. The comeback could be real. Now 13 7. It's cap 7. Ruben Salcedo finally getting one in there after a missed attempt earlier. 13 7. Outscoring Cal State Chico in this quarter to our records four to one. And that one is saved by the keeper. With a little over two minutes remaining. Two twenty-three. And there will be a timeout called. And that will be a haul. 
Six goal difference. Need to go quick if you're Cal State Maritime. Puts that one, another one off the crossbar. By our count, if those go through, this game could be tied or it would be a different result. So at least a six by the keel haulers to hit the crossbar. And that one's fired right in the arms of the keel hauler goalkeeper. Keel haulers down 13 to six with about two minutes to play in the third place game. Coming up on the CWPA network, it's the first place game for Sierra Pacific between Cal Berkeley and the host Santa Cruz Banana Slugs. And that one's not gonna count. It's exclusion time. Opportunity for Cal State Maritime to trim the deficit even more. I'll have to go quickly. Passing, taking way too much time. Now fires, boom, shaka laka. 13 to eight, five goal deficit. Connor McDonald. Cap 10 it looks like. Here way to go Con. It's a five goal difference, but not a lot of time left. It's 13 to eight, Cal State Chico. Looks like the Wildcats are going to earn third place. And that's all the crossbar there. Possibly some life for the kill haulers. But uh, under two minutes remaining. So maybe too little too late. It was 12 to three at their three quarters for Cal State Chico. How about a five one, one scoring one for the kill haulers? 19 on the shot clock. We'll think about firing it here. It is deflected out of play. Maybe a two meter throw. Nope. Deflected by Maritime. Cal State Chico can take its time and that may be about it for Maritime's chances of coming back even further. And Cal State Maritime in the dark caps. Cal State Chico in the white. Maritime eight and two. Three. Chico may be six and four. And there's a whistle. Opportunity time for Wildcats. That is saved. Long haul. Into the arms of the Chico keeper. Another show off move. Is saved. Let's do the show off show. This is amazing. It's like pinball. Another one, out of play. Cal State Chico gets third place in the Sierra Pacific Division, 13 to eight. A disappointing finish for the Keel Haulers despite five goals. That's some tough luck. And that is a final, folks.